we just stood still tried to stay silent I didn't have my phone with me so I couldn't tell anyone you know I thought like oh my gosh like what if I actually die and I'm not able to like tell my parents frightening moments inside the University Park Mall in Mishawaka as shots ring out outside people comfort one another after that shooting claimed the life of a 23 year old man. It is breaking news. We've been following all afternoon and evening. The call came into police just before three o'clock and tonight we are learning new details from police. We have team coverage for you. WSBT 22's Erica Finke talked to workers at the mall about what they saw and heard, but let's begin with Max Lewis, who's live at Metro Homicide with new details from investigators. Max. Caroline, good evening. Within the last couple of hours, we learned that the 23 year old killed in this shooting is identified as Delaney Crosby. This massive investigation is still ongoing with dozens of witnesses being interviewed and a huge crime scene being processed. Investigators say this was an isolated incident and the suspect is now on the run. Chaos erupted inside the University Park Mall in Mishawaka shortly before 3 o'clock this afternoon. People running for their lives after several shots rang out inside. The group was being really loud and noisy and rowdy. And next thing you know, like probably about five seconds after I saw them, um, shots were fired. I stepped back into the back where you couldn't see me. I, um, I was not visible to anybody. And as soon as things calmed down, I went and I looked and there was the body. Police say two men got in an argument outside a jewelry store on the mall's west side. One of them pulled out a gun and shot the other, killing him. Investigators say they have leads and are working to track down the shooter. I'm encouraging the person who did do this, if they're watching this, it's only a matter of time before um, we find you. And um, uh, to call us down here and to turn yourself in and make this right. Investigators say this was an isolated incident and not an active shooter situation. The shooting caused panic and worry outside as people waited desperately for their friends and family. The homicide team's assistant commander, Dave Wells, says we're lucky more people aren't dead. This was an act of violence that had no regard for families uh, pushing strollers, um, you know, kids, we are lucky that there isn't uh, uh, more tragic news involved with this. Wells also said that the shooter that, that the shooter was incredibly stupid to do what he did. They are still interviewing witnesses and encourage anyone who was in the mall at the time and may have seen anything to give them a call. They're also addressing an Instagram post that's been circulating online where someone claimed credit for the shooting. They have since said that that claim was untrue. Crime scene technicians will be at the mall throughout the night. It's still unclear if the mall will reopen tomorrow. Live at St. Joseph County Metro Homicide. I'm Max Lewis, WSBT 22 News.